Welcome to Mother, Mother Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're gonna clean some screens and fix some screens. Just recently, I had all new glass put into my windows. And the reason was, is between the glass panes there developed this kind of haze. Cloudiness. And cloudiness. And my realtor told me I can't sell my house one day until I get those fixed. So I finally went ahead and did that. I hired a company to do that. So once the new glass was in, I realized my screens were really dirty and some had actually holes in them. Our very first project that we ever did for Mother Daughter Projects was rescreening the porch, and we still actually have quite a bit of screen left, so we're going to be repurposing this and using it in, to repair the screens. So our first step is we're going to clean them, so let's get started. The first step is I'm going to remove the screen from the frames that we need to replace the screen in. So I'm just pulling out the spline, and it's really easy to do. So I have the spline out and I can throw that away. And now I'm just gonna pull the screen out. We started by rinsing all the screens. I'm just gonna use a little Dawn, mix up a little soapy water and just use that. If we need more spot cleaning, we'll use something like Crepe Cutter. This became a really fast process when mom cleaned and I rinsed off. Next we fit screen to the three that needed repairing. This is the traditional spline tool that you're probably used to seeing, but we've been using the spline mouse and really happy with it. It's a lot easier to hold. It pushes down on two places as you're putting your spline in place, so it helps secure it better. And this is the traditional tool, which, you know, this works as well. So either one, but we've been happy with the mouse. We put new spline into our spline mouse and rolled it into place. Since the spline mouse is plastic, sometimes the wheels can pop out of place, but it's easy to pop them back in and it works fine after that. We've used this multiple times and haven't had the need to replace it. Once the spline's in, we roll over it one more time to make sure everything is nice in place. We cut the extra screen with the utility knife. With all the screens nice and clean and repaired, we put them into place. What we learned. So since I moved into my house, I had a couple screens that were damaged and I kept thinking, I don't like those screens, but I never did anything with it. And I finally realized one day, I thought, you know, the screens don't have any function for the window to work really. They're just there in case you want to open the window, it, you know, keeps bugs out. But there's windows that I don't even ever open in the house. So those screens I actually put in my attic and the ones that we replaced and cleaned today are the windows that I may want to open up in the future. Well, Steph had one of those light bulb moments where she thought, what am I gonna do with these screens that are broken? Rescreen them! So we got out our extra screen, bought some spline, and she rescreened them in no time. Actually, it was way easier than actually screening the, rescreening the porch, yeah. so, because you can do it all on the ground. Yeah, so if you want more details about screening, check out our rescreening our porch video. It's the very same principles. We see, used all the same tools and left the materials from that. If you want to see more projects from us, make sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe here on YouTube. And right next to the subscribe button, you're going to see a little bell. Click on that and you'll get alerted when we have new videos. Thanks for joining us today. And one more thing, Steph. I know we said in that last screening <laughs> video, the next thing on the list was to clean the siding. We really need to clean the siding. Yeah, so now I have all new windows. They're great. They're nice and clean. And now the siding in my house really needs to be clean. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that in an upcoming video. We're going to get that clean, and we'll show you how we do that.